welcome to Nikki's Journey. Um, this is my channel where I talk about my journey and where I came from. I've been on this journey for about four, four and a half months now. Um, I started back in July. I'm down about 55 pounds. This channel is to help other people realize that things you're feeling through your weight loss journey is completely normal. So you're not alone. Uh, I apologize, my dogs are going to be jumping in and out of this video. This video isn't going to be like my other few videos. This video, um, I've just been feeling some type of way the last few hours at work. I ever, if you've had me on Facebook, I posted a picture of me in my workout clothes saying I wish people could see what I see underneath my clothes. And today I'm just feeling that type of way to show you what's underneath. So that's why I'm in my sports bra. I got some shorts on. So I decided to show you guys what losing um, let me rewind. from being happy my whole life, being about 220 uh, all through high school, 220, 240 throughout high school. And then during my pregnancy, I went up to 350, 370-ish. And then I got back down to 220. And then I got back up. I'm not going to tell you what I got back up to. Just that. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Got back up to 325 when I started going back to the gym in July of 2016. Um, I did a 90-day challenge. I lost maybe around 40 pounds. 30 something inches and I'm kind of at a plateau but I'm still losing weight just not on the scale um, the video after or before this one in my my uh, videos that I've uploaded that one was talking about how demotivated and non scale victories and I'll post a picture in here somewhere um, of what I was at what I am now and how I look on with clothes so, if you don't like seeing a big, heavy woman with saggy skin, I turn this video off now because I'm going to be showing it all in a sports bra and some shorts so you can see what it looks like to go from 220 to 375, almost 400 pounds, back down to 220 and back up to 300 and now back down. I'm at 272-ish. And get under 270 for some reason but I don't look my weight that's the thing um so if you don't want to see all of this <laughs> I turn off now um just some women are like oh I'll just like I've been having my whole life so my skin isn't as elastic elasticity whatever the elasticity in my skin isn't as strong as somebody that just gained 40 pounds on the drop it I've been having my whole life like I said I've been the heavy kid in my family always have been, always been the plus size. Um, so yeah, within the last six and a half years, I've been bouncing back and forth pretty kind of dramatically. So like I said, if you don't want to see all this, turn it off. If you want to see what can happen, if you've been heavy your whole life, and then got really heavy and then lost a bunch of weight and almost got to your goal weight and then gained a bunch of weight back because you went through a depression and then you lost some more and now you're back up um this is what you may look like because your skin won't bounce back so yeah like i said if you don't want to see this all see you will have bat wings or bingo arms or whatnot. But if I pull my arm bag, I got muscle. I really do. I just think it is kind of far back. Um, but I do that saving skin. This I will never be able to tighten back up. This is a different angle, maybe. I think extra big. But this is what it is. Right, I wish I could just like look at it again. This is me. This is what I see every day when I take a shower. 
take a bath or just get naked. Like, it's not a pretty sight. You don't want to look at yourself in the mirror because it's like, how did I let myself get this bad? And it's like, oh, I'm going to fix myself. But even after fixing yourself, you still gotta suffer because you got all this new skin. And it's like, sucks. It really does. Like, this is the ugly truth about being fat. No one ever tells you this. And it's like, people say they support you and shit, but they don't see that. Like, my goal is to be in a bikini by summer. And even if I am, I don't think I'd ever be in one because of my skin. It's, it sucks to be so uncomfortable in your own skin. So don't take your body for granted. I might look good with clothes on, but I don't without clothes on. And people are gonna comment, oh, you look beautiful the way you are, da 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 da. But I don't feel it. Like, I have to physically do my hair, which is not done, but looks better than it is in the ponytail. But I have to do my makeup and physically make myself feel pretty. So all you girls that are like underweight and you have this little tiny gooch, do some sit-ups. Don't sit there and think you're fat and love yourself. Don't gain more weight basically because I don't want you to look like me in the years to come and basically hate yourself. Because without surgery, I ain't going to be able to fix how I want to look. And even if I have surgery, I'm going to have this giant scar going across my stomach. Oh yeah, you can hide it with a bikini. But I'd still see it looking in the mirror. So either way, I'm still going to hate my body. And it fucking sucks. Like, I wish I would have seen someone like this. Like myself, when I was... 12, 13 years old when I was still bigger and still like 180, 160 and I wish I would have just busted my ass and got to where I wanted to be because then I want to be where I am now and wouldn't, I mean I'd still probably have hate for myself but I wouldn't feel how I feel now because I know I won't be able to fix it. And this video on that note. Um, so yeah, everybody have a great day. And I hope you got something from this. Have a good day, everybody.